Sterling One Foundation, in partnership with the United Nations Global Compacts, is set to hold its second edition of the African Social Impacts Summit, themed Global Vision, Local Action, repositioning the African development ecosystem for sustainable outcomes. The summit is scheduled to hold on the 10th and 11th of August 2023. Speaking at a press conference, Mr. Abubakar Suleiman, Managing Director Sterling Bank spoke on the importance of the summit, which is in line with the objectives of the foundation. He highlighted that the Africa Social Impact Summit is a gathering of leaders from the public and private sectors, civil society organizations, and the development community to identify creative, long-term solutions to Africa's most pressing developmental concerns. The, at the heart of Sterling Bank um, is this idea that if you don't solve for poverty, then you can never make enough profit to manage poverty. Yeah. So we want to solve for poverty. If you notice the five sectors that we've highlighted, one of the reasons we chose those sectors is that that is where you have the highest concentration of human beings. In other words, if you are in any of the five sectors, if you don't come across one of them, you're probably dead. Mm. Because there's no way you are alive that you have not come across, the, you have had the reason to come across a health institution or personnel, or an educational institution of personnel, or food under agriculture, or renewable energy. It was energy originally, but we realized that the best part for us is not to repeat the mistakes of the past, so we took renewable energy, or transport. What it means is that we position in a way that every human being must at some point be impacted by what we do. Um, and we thought that we have finance, but most importantly, we could use partnership to accelerate finance. Mrs. Peju Ibikwe, CEO, Sterling One Foundation, appreciated partners for their commitment to the progress of the summit and encouraged them not to relent while urging more partners to join. I must say thank you to Coca-Cola, the United Nations Global Compact Network Nigeria. To me, Onomade, she's not here, but she was fantastic. And I must also um, appreciate some of other partners, ProShare and quite uh, some others that joined us then. And Sterling Bank. Of course, <laughs> that joined us <laughs> last year. And um, like Abu, this year, um, I'm a Christian. I can, I can just say thank God for where we are today. And God works through men. So please let me start. Um, this year, before I go on to the appreciation, this year, the Africa Social Impact Summit is going to be holding August 10 to 11, 2023. Is going to be holding at the Eco Convention Center, physical, and then of course, as usual, we can have attendees and delegates join us from across the globe. The URL to know more about the summit and for attendees to register is at www.theimpactsummit.org. And this year, we are glad to be having our co convener the United Nations in Nigeria, led by Mr. Matthias Shimale. Can you put your hands together? <laughs> this last clap is for a few organizations that I get to tell me yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for them. Mr. Matthias Shimale, United Nations President and Humanitarian Coordinator in Nigeria, spoke on the United Nations' commitment to Africa's development, hence the decision to partner with Sterling One Foundation. The bad and the ugly is if you purely look at this in terms of statistics. The last time I looked at our dashboard across the 17 SDGs for which we have a traffic light system, green making progress, yellow stagnating, red declining, most were yellow, of the 17 SDGs for Nigeria, a few were red and only one green. Green is partnership goal 17, which is interesting, you know, and I think reflects these kinds of initiatives. Now, so that's the first comment, you know, and I think several speakers have referred to 133 million people living or facing multidimensional poverty. And that's not just about income. It may be about your children not being in school. You may have enough food, 
but your children are not in school. There's 20 million children, UNICEF tells us, out of school. So if you have these kinds of figures, you can't claim the color green in aggregate terms. So that's the bad and the ugly. The good is to pick up on you know, what's been said earlier by the chair of the Global Compact in terms of there are parts of Nigeria that are developed. Some of that is sitting in this room. You know, they, so as my boss, the Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohammed often says, the glass is some full. And I think in, in terms of the examples we've just heard about in terms of renewable energy, the glass is some full. There is a lot of good stuff happening. I think the challenge is bringing it to scale and turning the red into yellow and the yellow into green. So it's not like the glass is empty. There's a lot of fascinating initiatives in this country, a lot of entrepreneurial spirit, goodwill in the private sector. I think the kind of thinking you've outlined, Ampo Bakar, in terms of impact being the focus rather than naked profit, if I may put it in those terms, is gaining traction. And so the potential is there. But as a, a leading government official from the previous government once said to me, you cannot eat potential. So the issue is really turning the potential into something meaningful. Speaking with Web TV, Mrs. Peju Ibekwe and Mr. Matthias Schmali reiterated the need for participation and collaboration in Africa's development. I think we all know that maybe Africa's biggest challenge is sustainable development for its citizens. Nigeria is a proud, confident and active member of the United Nations and eight years ago signed up to the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. Our role as UN civil servants like myself in Nigeria, there's 21 agencies here, is to support the government of Nigeria in partnership with private sector, civil society and others to accelerate the achievement of the SDGs. Sadly, Nigeria is lagging a bit behind on most of them, which finds its expression in 133 million citizens facing multidimensional poverty. Our role is to bring our convening power to the table, to bring expertise, to help government translate goals and policies into solutions that make a difference in the lives of citizens. The African Social Impact Summit was birthed against the need for us to accelerate towards the Sustainable Development Goals. It was clear from the indicators and the data that there was still a very long way to go. As a matter of fact, it seemed like we were retrogressing. It seemed like we were retrogressing, especially with the impact of the pandemic and then uh, the effect of the Ukraine Russian war. There was a need for us to not just try to work at it alone, but for us to intentionally partner. So the Africa Social Impact Summit was birthed as a platform to galvanize partnerships among the public, private, and the third sectors to intentionally run forward fast towards the sustainable development goals without replicating innovations or work done efficiently and sustainably. A couple of thoughts on that. Number one, we were part of the first edition of the Africa Social Impact Summit last year in Abuja. We saw the power and the value of bringing multiple stakeholders together, private sector, government, the development sector, the international community from across the continent. So we saw what can be done. A journey was started to mobilize all those involved in development across the spectrum, not just the development actors, for greater impact in the lives of Nigerian citizens and African citizens. So we were very motivated when the Sterling One Foundation approached us and said, can you bring your convening power to, to the table? Can we co-convene edition two of this? And the meeting, the press briefing we've just been through shows the power. It is growing into a movement of many partners. And as someone said eloquently, there are different forms of capital and investment available for projects, processes, programs that will make a difference to vulnerable people. And we are very proud and humbled to be part of a process that brings capital and investment together with those who can implement and make a difference. The Africa Social Impact Summit 
is something that um, affects each and every one of us uh, because today we know we have 133 million poor people in Nigeria and these people are related to us in one way or the other. We all need to intentionally work together towards lifting them out of poverty and reducing the poverty. Because they say a rich man among many poor people is a poor man in disguise. So we have to do this work together. The Africa Social Impact Summit, which is an initiative of the Sterling One Foundation, co-convened with the United Nations, reinforces the Foundation's commitment to the development of Africa in a bid to accelerate the achievement of the SDGs through impact investments in critical areas of the economy.